Hi, surprise. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna wait for some people to come on. Um, I'm sorry, I'm actually, I'm not even gonna say I'm sorry. I am so crazy all day long. I haven't had a chance to do my makeup yet or my hair or anything. So I'm not gonna say I'm sorry, but I will say, I'm a hot mess right now, <laughs> but here I am. I'm here and I'm ready to pour into you guys for Trisha. She invited me in here to talk to you guys today and I'm really, really excited about it. We're going to rock it out. Hey, Jennifer. So when you guys come on here, say, Hey, um, what I like to do is I like to say, if you are on the live version of this video, go ahead and drop your favorite color in the comments. And if you are on the replay version of this video, go ahead and drop your favorite food. Okay. Um, that's how I like to roll and it works really good for me and I love it. <laughs> so say, Hey, when you guys come on, I'm going to wait just a few minutes here, um, for some people to get on here so that I can get rocking with you guys. It's going to be a pretty good video. I think I'm really excited for it. Um, so we are going to wait until, um, um, we'll wait for like till the two minute mark. Okay. So if you are watching the replay, go ahead and fast forward just a few seconds to the two minute mark and we'll get started. And don't forget to say, Hey, when you come on Jennifer, you are cute. I love your picture. <laughs> um, and for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Amanda Lawrence and I am a black status presenter. Um, and I've been with the company for almost three years now, which is crazy. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about that because Trisha said that it might be something that you need to hear, uh, my story and everything like that. Hi, Miranda. How's it going, girl? Okay. So, all right, let's just go. I'm going to get started. Go ahead. You guys that are on here, go ahead and invite some people in here, um, to be on this video. It's going to be a pretty good one. Hey, Trisha. Um, okay. So let's get started. You guys, um, so like I said, my name is Amanda Lawrence and I'm a black status presenter. You guys, um, I've been with the company for almost three years now. And, um, a lot of people, a lot of people, man, it's been, it's been a pretty crazy journey up in here. Okay. Hey, Cal, is it Kay Kaylee? I love how you spell your name. Um, Aw, that's awesome. Um, so it's been a wild ride. You know, it's been a really wild ride. And Trisha kind of wanted me to come in here and tell you guys my story and, and kind of like my mindset through my story because I've had a really rough up and down kind of journey. Oh, some people who are black status kind of got there and, and it was like a pretty quick, you know, thing where they got up there. Um, and for me, it was almost like, um, it was almost like I was being tested, you know, to become a strong leader. I was being challenged almost every day to become a strong leader. And I wanted to share that with you guys because, um, your challenges are going to be the biggest thing that get you guys to the top of this company. Okay. They're going to make you the leader that you are today or that you're going to be, and they're going to help you to, to build that leadership in other people as well. Okay. So, um, I hit green status, you guys in eight months. Okay. In eight stinking months, I hit green status and that was a pretty big deal. I thought that was a pretty quick, a pretty quick road to green status. Okay. Um, how many of you guys are green and how long did it take you guys to get there? First of all. Um, and so the thing is though, you guys, you would think that that was like, I was super excited, but Months went by, months kept going by, months kept going by, and I stayed green status for 10 months, okay? I was green status for 10 months. I didn't go above green, but I never went below green, okay? I never, like, went back down to blue or anything like that. I continued to maintain green status, okay? But it was a really, it was really frustrating for me at times, okay? Um, I did, I did move up from, like, you know, pink. There was a month where I really wanted to get pink, and I didn't get it, okay? Like, I totally missed it, and you would, and, and a lot of people, you guys, a lot of people will go through something like that. They'll try to gun for a promotion, and they'll, they'll quit after they don't hit it. They'll become super defeated and they'll just like let it go. Okay. And that's like the worst thing that you can do because this is not meant to be easy. You guys. Okay. This isn't meant to be easy because if it is easy for you, like I know there's a couple people, um, that I know who actually, you know, they kind of, they were, they were, they had, you know, their leader kind of like placed people on their team or, you know, placed sales underneath them. And that person, those people never requalify as their position. Okay. But do you know who does requalify? The people that persevere, the people that persevere, the people that gun for a promotion and don't hit it and then come back stronger than ever the next month. Okay. I have a girl on my team. She is, um, her name is Tiffany Soma. She's been with the business, you guys, for five months, and she just hit green status for the first time last month in one of the slowest months ever, right? December was crazy slow. But do you want to know something, you guys? In November, the busiest month of the entire year in November, she gunned for green and she missed it. She missed green. 
Okay. She missed it. And she came to me, I think she finished like 85% or something like that. And she came to me at the end of that month on the next, on the first of December. And she said, Amanda, she said, I'm really upset. I'm pretty disappointed in myself, but you know what? She said, I'm going to hit it this month. I'm going to hit it this month and I don't care what happens. And I said to her, I said, girlfriend, I said, you can do anything you set your mind to. And you know what, you guys, she blazed to green status. Okay. Her videos blew up because she was determined to rise. She was a woman determined to rise. Her why was bigger than you could ever imagine. She wants this so badly, but do you want to know what you guys Tiffany has never done anything like this before. Okay. She, um, she actually works two jobs. She works full time at a university and she also works part time and she does unique. Okay. And she has a husband and she, you know, she's a very, very busy person, very busy person. Okay. Um, but she, um, she said to me, she said, Amanda, I am, I'm determined to make this happen. I am going to make it happen. And I said, I know you are, I know you're going to make it happen. And do you want to know what you guys, she did it. She was the only person on my team to hit green status in November. And she did it with flying colors. And do you want to know what she is set this month to double her company sales, her company sales this month are already almost $20,000. Okay. And she's gunning for orange status. Okay. After she was so feeling defeated in November, the busiest month of the year, she came back and she conquered December. She conquered December, you guys. And do you want to know why that was able to happen? Do you want to know why? Oh, hey, you guys, I'm so excited you're here. Thank you for being on here. Invite your teams and everything like that, okay? Um, do you want to know why she was able to do that? And do you want to know why I was able to finally get past green status after being green status for 10 whole months, you guys? Because I sponsored. Because she sponsored every single day. Do you want to know how many people she sponsored last month? You guys, 20 people. And she's already at 28 people sponsored this month because she doesn't stop. I said, girl, what are you doing? And it's because the culture on my team is you don't stop until you've sponsored a minimum of like five people. And even then you don't stop. Okay. We have this culture on my team where we offer the opportunity to 10 people a day, 10 people a day, minimum. You want to know what Tiffany does? She wants to be black status. So she messages at least like 50 people a day. Sometimes she goes crazy and it's paying off. It's paying off. And do you want to know what you guys, I used to sit in front of my computer in my office when I was green status, trying to get, you know, past green status and to get to orange and purple and black and all those other ranks. You guys, I sat in front of my computer and I didn't go to sleep until I sent out a minimum of 20 messages. I would fill out, I would number the lines on my piece of paper and I would message people every single day. I would message message people and, to, and I wouldn't go to sleep until every single line on that piece of paper was, um, was, had a name on it that I offered the opportunity to someone. Okay. I wouldn't go to sleep. That was my non-negotiable was growing my team. And I've always sponsored an average I started out kind of lower, you know, because sponsoring is hard. It's hard to figure it out, but you know what? Practice makes perfect. And once you figure it out and you get it down, okay, you you become an expert, but you've got to educate, you got to educate yourself to become an expert on sponsoring. And so that's what I did. And that's what Tiffany did. And you know what? She came to me every day and she said, Amanda, she asked me questions about sponsoring. She watched all of my sponsoring videos, you guys, and she became an expert at sponsoring. And now she is slaying. She's on the, the company wide leaderboards and everything. You guys, I've been on the company wide leaderboards and it's because I don't stop sponsoring. I became an expert. Okay. Jamie, do you want me to sponsor you right now, girlfriend? I've sent so many messages, you guys. And that's how I become, I've become an expert at sponsoring. Okay. Because I practiced until I was blue in the face. I failed. I tested, I failed, I tested, I failed, I tested and I failed. Okay. And I became an expert at sponsoring you guys, an expert. I am so good at sponsoring now. It's not even funny. I sponsor an average of 50 people every single month now every single month. Okay. And it's because I message people until my fingers hurt because the more people that you message. Yeah, baby. The more people that you message, hang on one second. Hang on, baby. Here you go. Here. Can you put this in the garbage for mama? Yeah. Thank you. Did you have fun? Oh wait, I got another one. Hang on here. So you guys, the way that I'm able to continue to have an abundance of people being sponsored on my team and the way that I'm able to sponsor people like crazy this, you know, now in my business is because in the beginning, you guys, even when people were ignoring me and saying no, and even when I thought my messages weren't working, I kept going. I kept going even on the months where I failed and I thought, oh my gosh, like this isn't working. Nobody wants to join my team. Nobody's listening to me. Even in those months, you guys, I kept going. And now because I've sent out literally thousands and thousands and thousands of messages, you guys have sponsored 750 people personally. Okay. Personally. 
And because I never stopped, because I never stopped, you guys, I have an abundance of people, abundance of seeds planted. And it's kind of like the, the cycle of, of growth for a plant, okay? You plant the seed, it needs sunshine, it needs water, oxygen, it needs all of these things to grow. And when you're planting these seeds, the form of oxygen, the form of water, the form of sunshine that your, your seed is going to need to grow and to blossom into that beautiful flower, which means that that person is joining your team when that, when that flower blossoms, is your attraction marketing. You showing up every single day, you following up with them, you keeping track of who you've messaged, okay? You portraying that form of influence on your personal Facebook page. That is what is going to get you to where you want to be to be able to sponsor these people. You're going to hit a lot of bumps. You're going to hit a lot of walls and you're going to want to quit. You're going to think that nobody's watching you. But as soon as you offer the opportunity to someone, they go into watch mode. That's what I like to call watch mode. Okay. Um, Ashley, I message people and I don't care if I sound cold or pushy. I don't even care. I'm trying to grow a business here and I'm trying to make a lot of money and change my family's life. I don't care about that. I really don't care. And that's what you need to let go of as well. Um, so, um, you portray all of those things, right? Your influence and everything like that. And you get better and better and better. And those people, as they're in watch mode, they're watching your attraction marketing. They're watching you continue. They want to join someone that shows up every day. And so I actually had a girl, um, a girl that's somewhere else on my team join Tiffany's team because that girl saw Tiffany. That girl was, was never offered the opportunity by that, by Tiffany, you know, by the other girl's, you know, friend, the, the other girl never offered the other girl the opportunity. And then the girl found Tiffany somehow and Tiffany shows up every day. And that girl that doesn't show up every day, she got upset because that other person that she knew that was friends with her, she thought that, Hey, maybe she'll join my team. If she just sees me showing up every once in a while. No, she saw Tiffany showing up every day. And she thought, Hey, this girl, Tiffany, she can lead me. She can teach me to do the things that I need to do to become successful. She can help me change my family's life. This other girl, she never goes live. She doesn't talk about the opportunity. She never even offered me the opportunity. So she probably can't help me be successful, right? And so that's what you guys always have to keep at the forefront of your mind. Okay. And I will give you guys, I will give you guys an example of an opportunity message. And I'm telling you, the more that you practice, the better that you get with anything, riding a bike, you know, how do you think that professional basketball players like Dwayne Wade and, you know, Magic Johnson and all these people become so good at, at their trade? How do you think that, you know, um, Wayne Gretzky got so good at hockey? How do you think that, you know, uh, the guy that, you know, the Patriots guy, what's his name? Tom Brady or whatever. How do you think that he got so good at being a quarterback. They practice. He practiced and practiced and practiced and they become obsessed. I, I had the pleasure of watching uh, Rob Deerdeck speak, you guys, at GoPro. And, and I watched a lot of other billionaires go up there on that stage and they spoke and he said, how do you, what do you think contributed to you becoming successful? And he said, I, he said, I, no, 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 not, no, no, no. You're going to get crumbs all over. He said, I, they all said I practiced and I practiced and I practiced until I couldn't practice anymore. They said I was obsessed with becoming the best of the best of the best. And so they practiced and they practiced and they practiced until they became the best. And that's what you have to do. If you think that you struggle with opportunity messages, if you think that you struggle with booking parties, if you think that you struggle with doing parties, if you think that you struggle as a leader, you have to continue to practice to do those things. Okay. You have to continue to practice to do those things. And that is how you become the best of the best of the best. I've been practicing every single day and from the time that I realized that sponsoring was so crucial to my success. Okay. And because I, because I messaged people every day and I never gave up every single month, my, my goal was orange every single month for like eight months. My goal was orange. And then I said, screw orange. I want purple. I'm over orange. I've been growing my team. I'm doing all these things. I can get purple. I can get purple. I changed my mindset. Okay. I changed my mindset instead of saying, I, I remember I kept messaging, you know, people, other black, you know, black status presenters and stuff that I knew that I was friends with. And I kept saying, girlfriend, I need help. Like, why is this happening to me? Why me? Why do I suck so bad? What's going on? You know? And I would message them and I would say all these terrible things like about myself and about my own journey. And I'd be like, what am I doing wrong? Why is this happening to me? What is going on? And I would say to my, I would say these things out loud and I was setting myself up to fail by saying those things. And finally I discovered the power of my mindset. And I said, you know what? No way, sister, no way. Okay. I'm changing my mindset and I am determined to become the person who does double promote from green status to purple status. I'm over being green status. I don't want to be green status anymore. So I needed to make the change for myself. And that is what I did. So in September, the month after convention, I told myself I will have two frontline elites by the end of this month and we will finish this month as a purple status team. And do you want to know what you guys, I double promoted from green after being green for 10 months. I double promoted from green to purple status. And then a month later I hit black status. And do you want to know why? 
because of exactly what I just told you before. I sent messages upon messages upon messages. I have notebooks upon notebooks upon notebooks down in my office, you guys, of, uh, of pages full of people that I've messaged, people that said that they were going to join and then they never did. And I just keep going back and I keep going back and I keep offering it to more people. And I keep showing up every single day, you guys. I've done more parties, par- more parties. I've done more parties than you can even imagine. Okay, I've consistently done 20 to 30 parties every single month and it's because I knew that that is what I had to do to get to the top of this company. I knew that that is what I had to do to become successful because I listened to what other successful people were doing and I did it. I swallowed my pride and I did the things that I was afraid to do. I did it scared. I did it scared. Okay, you guys, I did the things that I didn't want to do, the things that I was terrified of, the things that I dreaded doing every single day when I woke up in the morning, but instead of dreading them, I made them my B-I-T-C-H, okay? (laughs) And I became great at them because I kept practicing, okay? I kept practicing, and there's no reason why you can't do that too. Right now? Is that what they said? I'll I'll, I'll tell you later. Okay. Um... Okay. Um, so that's what I did, you guys. And that's what you have to do too. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do is keep practicing, keep testing and failing and allow your failures to become your biggest victories. Okay. Allow your failures to become the thing that gets you to tell that story to the next person on your team who fails just like you're failing and they need to hear that you've gone through it too. Okay. That's what you have to do. So change your mindset and become that version of yourself that you deserve to be. Okay. And become an expert at sponsoring and an expert at booking parties. Okay. And if you're busy, guess what? There's somebody out there. If you think you're super busy, right? If you think that, oh my gosh, I have a full-time job, I have kids, I'm trying so hard to balance everything, the number one thing that I've learned, well, not the number one thing, but I've learned from John Maxwell, I've been being mentored by John for about six months now, and I've got a year-long mentorship program left with him, where I get to talk to him on the phone, you guys, I get to, you know, I get to go meet with him in person, and um, I'm actually, I think I'm going to take him up on an offer to go travel to countries and watch him interact with, like, world leaders and stuff, and something that I've learned from him, and I stood up and I, and in front of a bunch of people and I said, John, I said, so many people say to me that they want to figure out how to balance it first. They want to figure out how to, you know, manage their time and figure out how to balance their priorities. And so here's the thing. He said, I said, how do you, well, what do you say to somebody who says that they want to find balance before they can continue to try to be successful? And he says, you tell them that the best way to find balance is just to die, to die. You find balance when you die. Okay. You will never find balance. It doesn't exist. Okay, you just have to go for every person out there that thinks that you're way too busy to do this. You guys, you think that you're way too busy to send opportunity messages every day or to read a good book every day. Okay, or to li- to watch a great video every single day. For those of you out there who think that you're too busy because you work full time. I have a girl on my team who works 70 hours a week and has six kids, six kids and a husband and she shows up every day. And do you want to know what? Because she came to me crying so many times. And she said, man, I don't think I can do it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't think that I can make this happen. I'm just, I'm just so busy. And I said, girlfriend, you can do it. I love her. Her name is Stacy Anderson. She's amazing. She stuck with it through her trials, through her busyness, through everything, you guys. And do you want to know what? She just last month was able to quit her full-time job where they were paying her salary, by the way, to work 70 hours a week. They were totally screwing her over. And she was able to quit her job. And now she works 16 hours a week at her local library where she does nothing but basically work her business. Because she works at the library. But because she was determined to rise and she put her excuses out there and she knew why she was doing this. She knew that she was going to be able to change her circumstances. She knew that they were just temporary. She needed to be with her family and she wanted to be with her kids. She didn't want to miss any more of her kids' time. By the time she got home, she was exhausted. But she knew that she had to take that exhaustion and turn it into motivation so that she could work her business and take it to the top, you guys. Okay? She knew she needed to do that. And that's what she did. That's what she did. Okay? And now she works part-time at the library. So for every single person out there, and she sponsored five people this month. Five people! And she's on her way to green status, you guys. She's a rock star. She's a rock star. Okay? And I love her so much. And... For every one of you guys out there that thinks that you're too busy, I promise you there's somebody out there who's way more busy than you are who is making it happen. Making it happen. Do not ever let your why become your why not, okay? Do not ever let the reason why you need to keep going become the reason why you stop, okay? Don't do it, okay? God only gives to us what he knows will flow through us, okay, you guys? And that's the truth. So any failure that you have, anything bad that you think you're going through is given to you for a reason. You go through things to go through them. They're made for you, not to happen to you, but 
for you, okay? And it's because they're a part of your journey and a way for you to use them to inspire other people later on, okay? And that's why you have to keep pushing, you have to keep going, and you have to embrace your failures and all the trials that you go through. You have to embrace them because that's what it's gonna do for you. It's gonna make you relatable and it's gonna give you a way to connect with people later on, okay? So do not give up, you guys. Do not fail to hit pink status or fail to hit blue status and then think that you're done. There is no finish line. When you hit the finish line, you're finished. I'm black status, you guys. I have 30 elites on my team. I have 16 frontline elites and I'm never gonna be finished. It's not, okay, well, I'm here and I'm done. No, it's who can I help next? Who can I impact next? Who can I share my vision with next? Who can I help change their life next, okay? I will never be finished, ever. Not even when I'm black status level 18,000. I will never be finished, ever. Because when I'm at the finish line, that means I'm finished. And I will never become a has-been, ever. I will always be in the trenches with my teams. I will always be down there working and showing them what works. I will be testing and failing to the day that I die, till the day that I die, you guys, okay? And so um, you guys don't ever give up, okay? Because you have to keep going. Whenever the going gets tough, you've gotta keep going because that is what's gonna separate you from the next person. The next black status leader, that's what's gonna separate you from the next one because you kept going. You don't give up, you don't get complacent and you are not terminally intermediate. You are a rock star and you can do it. You've just gotta keep going. You have to know it's not gonna happen overnight and it's not gonna be easy because if it were easy, everybody would do it. Okay. Everybody would do it and you've got this. Okay. So here's the thing. I want to teach you guys something. I want to teach you guys. I'm going to, I'm going to sponsor our girl, Trisha here. I'm going to sponsor our girlfriend, Trisha, your leader. Okay. What's up, babe? Sure. That sounds good actually. Um, okay. So I'm going to sponsor Trisha. Okay. And here is what I would say. And this is going to be really easy for me, you guys, because I say this literally a thousand times a day. Okay. And I will never stop. Okay. Um, and, and at the end, you're going to hear me say something about a video and you guys can watch my video. It's watch.cosmeticsbyamanda.com. Okay. It's my opportunity video. If you don't have one, um, I really highly suggest that you make one. Okay. They're really, really important. It's a five minute video so that you don't have to, um, talk to somebody's ear off and like really overwhelm them with a really long message and give them every detail of the business because they will run away from you as fast as they, uh, ignored you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so, and remember this, okay. When they ignore you, okay. When they ignore you, it doesn't mean that they don't want to talk to you. It doesn't mean that, you know, it just means that they're probably busy. Maybe their kid puked on them. Okay. And, 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 you know, they got distracted and they forgot to listen to your message or whatever. And that's why you have to go back and say, Hey girl, I know life is busy, but did you have a chance to listen to my message that I sent you? I really, it's just, it's so important to me and I can't stop thinking about it. So I really wanted to just find out if you had a chance to listen to my message. Okay. And then once you send them the video, you'll, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about in a second. Once you send them the video and they agree to watch your, your little five minute business overview, you message them the next day and you say, Hey girl, did you have a chance to watch my video? I'm so excited to hear how much you love it. Okay. And if they say no, you say, Hey, what's going on? Huh? Okay. Okay. Kaya, I'm almost done, baby. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay. Guys, stop crying though. Okay. I'll be, I'll be done in a couple minutes here. I'm almost done, okay? I love you. <laughs> okay, um, so you have to know, you guys, you, you go back, and if they say no, they haven't had a chance to watch it, like, oh, I'm so busy. I'm like the busiest person on the planet. I think I'm way busier than everyone. If they're that person and they, they, they say, like, no, I haven't had a chance. I've just been so busy. I haven't had a chance to watch it. I always say, girlfriend, no worries. It's only five minutes long, but I get it. I'm super busy, too. Um, I literally don't know which way is up sometimes. When do you think you'll be able to watch it so that I know when to check back in with you? I just love to stay organized. Otherwise, I would just die, <laughs> you know? And I let them know, hey, I need you to tell me because otherwise, I will, my head will spin. I'm super busy, you know? Um, so those are my things that I like to do. And then I keep, I keep following up. You got to write it down. And then I keep following up you guys until, until it clicks, I keep following up and I don't care if I stalk them. Okay. I'm offering them a gift to change their life. I'm offering them a gift and that's what you're doing too. You offer them a gift. How much does your success mean to you? How much does changing your family's life mean to you? How much does that mean to you? How much does it mean to you to be able to stay home with your kids and never to miss a, a moment ever? Even the crazy ones that I'm experiencing right now. How much does that mean to you? How much does that mean to you? Does it mean enough to you to do things that terrify you? You're not going to die <laughs> for sending messages. You're not going to die. You just have to do it. You're not going to get hurt. It's not going to hurt you. You just have to do it. 
okay? You just have to do it. And you have to have your family or whatever it is that, that drives you at the forefront of your mind, okay? Um, so anyways, let's sponsor. Um, I know my kids are crazy. <laughs> um, so I'm going to... Um, and also, it's on my YouTube channel, my opportunity video, you guys, okay? It's on my YouTube channel. Um, so I'm going to sponsor Trisha. Okay, okay, Shh, out, out, out. I got to focus. <laughs> I got to show you guys. Okay, well, you can't see because Kennedy's in that closet, and then Kai is shutting her. <laughs> They're in the closet. Okay, okay, but okay, hang on. Be quiet so I can think really quick, okay? Okay. I, like, shut her back in the closet. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's sponsor Trisha. Okay, so I'm going to message Trisha with my voice, okay, because I want her to hear my excitement. I want her to hear the smile. Every time I voice message someone, I smile, okay? I'm like, ah, okay, because they can hear the smile in your voice. They can really hear that, I promise, okay? So I'm going to be like really bubbly, okay, and just let it roll. Just let it roll. Don't try to rehearse it. Don't try to read anything. Just let it roll, okay? And so I'm going to smile really, really big, and my face tends to hurt by the end of the day, okay? But I'm going to say to Trisha, I'm going to be like, Hey, Trisha, how are you, girl? Listen, okay, I get it. You're probably thinking, like, what is this girl doing? Why is she talking to me? What's happening? Um, I know you don't know me, and this is going to sound super nuts, but I had to message you because you keep popping up in my newsfeed, and I swear it's a sign, and so I had to send you this message. What's the password for this? You're going to think this is nuts. Okay, ready? <laughs> I think you'd be so good at doing what I do. I think that you'd be amazing doing what I do. I really do, girlfriend. You're so beautiful. You just seem like you have this, this glow about you that could really impact so many people. And I would love to have you doing this with me. I don't know if you've ever thought about it. I don't know if you have any idea what I do, but I would love to have you doing it with me. And I have this short video. It's about five minutes long. If I sent it over to you, would you be willing to take a peek at it? I would love to hear your opinion. That's it. That's it, okay? Now let me break that down for you, okay? I said hey to her. I used her name and I'm like laughing. I'm letting her know, hey girl, I know that you're probably thinking. I validated her thinking because I, I like I've done this before and I know she's thinking that I'm freaking insane, okay? And I, and I told her, you know, listen girl, this is going to sound nuts, okay? And so she's like, okay, yeah, it is nuts. I get it. It's totally crazy. And then I say, you keep popping up in my news feed. That's, this is a sign. It's a sign, okay? And people love people love acts of God, okay? So I say, hey, this is a it's, it's a sign. I keep seeing you pop up in my news feed, and I really think it's a sign. I had to message you because you just won't go away. Sometimes I'll even say you're like a dog that I can't shake off my leg, and you don't even realize it. You know, I try to add a little humor to it, right? And I just say, um, I, I validate them, and I say, I, I and I compliment them, and I say, you are just so gorgeous, and you just you have this something about you, this factor about you that makes you just you just look you're you're so beautiful, you know. And I just feel like you could change so many people's lives doing what I do. I just think that you have that that ability within you to make that impact on people like I do every day. And I think that you should do this. I think you would love it, you know. I go to their profile first, by the way, and I like stalk them a little bit, which is kind of creepy, but <laughs> you know, you got to know a little bit about them. Take five minutes before you message them to get to know them and then of course I end it can you no baby I said in a minute okay I'm doing this and you're not even supposed to be on my computer anyways okay but you that was a one-time thing that was a one-time deal um don't blow it don't blow it um and so then at the end Kennedy really stop stop just no please go for a second okay stop asking me you're not even you're supposed to be punished anyways you lied she flushed a banana down the toilet because she didn't want to eat it. And then she lied to me about it, by the way. <laughs> well, then you shouldn't have lied. Okay. Anyways, let me finish this. So at the end, you guys, I say, sorry, I'm like the craziest squirrely brain person. I want to hide. And then there's that one. I want to hide. Okay. Okay, last, okay, that's it. We're almost done, guys. And then at the end, I say, um, at the end, I say, um, you know, I, ha I have this video. It's about five minutes long. It goes over everything. If I sent it over to you, would you watch it? If I do something for you, would you do something for me? Okay, it's like we're scratching each other's backs, right? And that's it. And then I write their name down. I write what they said. If they ignore me, I don't take it personally. I just follow up with them the next day. 24 hours, I follow up with them. Hey girl, I know life gets busy. Have you had a chance to listen to my message? I get it. I get it, okay? Like, I'm busy. My kids are flushing bananas all day. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I get it, okay? Um, but that's it. And it's scary. In the beginning, I was terrified terrified to do it and my opportunity messages sucked i used to type them out and copy and paste and everybody was like you shouldn't send copy and pasted messages to people that's rude and i'm like okay whatever obviously i have to get better at this okay and so i took it as like a sign for me to get better it was time for me to get better okay and so i did that's what i did and you know what you guys i've gotten really good at it 
but thank God I didn't stop, right? Thank God I didn't quit. Thank God I didn't take all those walls as like reasons for me to stop. I took them as ways for me to get better. And that's what you have to do too. So don't give up. Don't quit. Stop playing it so small and choose to play bigger. Choose to play bigger because that's what you deserve. That's what you deserve, okay? So I'm going to get out of here, you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And thank you for having me in here. I really appreciate it, you guys, okay? And go out there and slay. There's six days left in the month of January, you guys. Go crush it. Go crush it. That's a lifetime, by the way, okay? Six days is a lifetime. Five days is a lifetime. Three days is a lifetime, okay? That's a lot of time. So go out there, you guys. Make your goals happen. Make them your, make them your reality. Make your dreams your reality. You guys go do that. You have it within you. You already have it within you. You just have to keep testing and failing and practicing until you become the best of the best of the best you guys. Okay. Mwah. Bye guys.